Last time you guys saw this thing, there was a ton of old glue on it from the old 3M. Um, we got all that removed, all the glue's off it. Reese polished it yesterday. Um, all that's left on it now is we're gonna get ready for full body PPF. We're just kind of cleaning up all the edges right now. And this thing will make its way down the assembly line. PPF, really old PPF, super spray on brittle and yellow. And the only safe way to do this on old cars like this, or any car for that matter, is to steam it, loosen up the adhesive, and go really slow. As in order for us to do the new matte PPF on it, we have to get rid of all these little kit pieces that are here. You can see the old, no PPF here anymore, but you can see where it was. So in order to put the new stuff down, we got to get rid of the old stuff so that it seats properly. Does the old clear bra ever damage paint? Yes. It, while removing it? Yes. Yes. You definitely can pull paint. That's why we're doing the steam method here. Because this is the safest way to keep the glue, glue from being too stiff and pulling paint. What do you guys do about all the glue that's left over? So I just did it on that Mojave over there. I'll do it on this one too. We actually just, we hose it down with adhesive remover and then we bag it. And then you just rinse it off with a pressure washer. It's uh, I'll use a uh, 13 year old TPF adhesive. It's 13 year old clear adhesive. And that doesn't come off. It doesn't really come off. Um, you have to, like Ryan said, spray a ton of adhesive remover on it. And then you put a plastic bag on it and let it sit for like 10, 15 minutes and spray it off. 99% of the time that works. 1% of the time it doesn't. Um, if that doesn't work, then prepare your hands because you're gonna be scraping a lot of it off with the uh, plastic razor blade. Almost the whole front end was covered, the entire bumper was covered, and this is really weird, so the quarter panel had it too. So this quarter panel had it, and then the other side, it had the same spot, but also, so the charging port is right here on the other side, so there's film on this part on the quarter panel over there too. So there is, <clears throat> a lot of time and a lot of hours into getting all this off of this car. And then once all this is off, I'm gonna polish the whole car, I'm gonna do a quick paint correction on it, and then after that, we're gonna lay a new film on the whole car. So if old clear bra does this, and leaves glue and wrecks your paint, does new clear bra do that? No. New clear bra is not made the same way as old clear bra. New clear bra also doesn't yellow like this stuff did. Um, the technology, it changes by the day almost with new film. They use like different adhesives and different ways of laying adhesive and all that, so it prevents all this from happening. I've taken lots of newer film off and it's never like this. There's usually some, like maybe a little trail here or there, but it's never just hazy and disgusting like this car is. So new film is significantly better than this 13 year old awful film. So if you're considering getting film on your car, don't worry about this in 2021, because this won't happen. So this is what I was talking about with removing glue safely on vehicles. Um, what we do is we just spray an adhesive remover on here and let it soak. Typically we only do this if there's a lot of glue left over from removal and you're almost guaranteed this with old film. So what we'll do is hose this down. Are you just trying to grab that other piece? Yep. Might as well do all this in one shot. And we're gonna lay this plastic over the front of it. Mush it down. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna trap all the uh, chemicals in there and so they don't evap. Because if this evaps, it's not gonna do anything. What if I told you this is how we install it? <laughs> we're gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna rinse it off with a power washer. So this is the finished product. Uh, Tesla Roadster, you, you do not see these cars often on the road or even in people's garages. But well, we got one in. Uh, the customer drives it maybe two or three times a year and he wanted to do something different and protect the paint. So uh, we did a full matte clear bra on the entire vehicle. We actually did the door jam also. You can see, so it's all protected. Uh, it has some miles on it, so it's not a perfect body, but he wanted to preserve the paint. Um, so the whole thing is done all throughout. 
the whole trunk. And we also have this, this top roof too that we did. Look at this. We also put that in matte PPF too. Uh, also on top of that, we actually did a ceramic coating on top. So it's for, it actually brings out the matte and the green. So it has a little bit of sheen to it and it's easier to clean. Uh, the wheels also got coated. You can see how shiny those things are. Uh, this car was a full, a full bulk kit. That means that there's no kit for it. We had to use big sheets install it and trim it down to fit the pieces of the vehicle. So it's 100% custom install on this. Um, the thing is the first roaster that we had and it, it, it's looking pretty sweet. Uh, hopefully the customer is excited as we are with this install. So you can see the difference from coated paper protection film and non-coated paper protection film. This whole car has full body gloss clear bra and this is not coated. So if I put water in it, you can kind of see it's just sheeting up is what they call it. It's just slowly running off. I'll do it again here. You can kind of see it's sheeting. Uh, so you see this Tesla we did coated on, it's coated. You can see how it just runs off of that. See how that just literally just cleans itself and that's the difference between non-coated and coated hand protection film.